But after, let's see, are we after? We're almost afternoon. Good morning and welcome to the 2022 Jack Kentucky Harvest Fest Speech Contest. Yeah. My name is Marcy Hansen. And I, along with Lance Tackett, are the excited teachers of this amazing group of students who have put together a wonderful event today. So, we are going to not hesitate any longer and just jump right in. But first, I do want to thank you all, because it looks like a wonderful turnout today for this event. So, thank you all to all of these spectators to the fans and to the parents who have supported their students and the teachers. I see quite a few teachers out there too uh, who have supported uh, our students in this event. So with no further ado, I'm going to introduce Lance Tackett who has a few words for you and then we're gonna jump right into the event. Let's give, uh, let's give Miss Marcy Hansen a huge round of applause. Let's go ahead and give Miss Hansen a round of applause, everybody. Thank you all, thank you. Uh, just want to say, like she said, great turnout today. There's no school today, so woo! No school, I actually had a conversation yesterday uh, about the fact we don't have any school because of the Harvest Fest. It's great, we already have a lot of people out here getting the food. It's a great environment, y'all are here, it's awesome. I want to thank Melissa Phelps, everybody, everybody you know, hands up for Melissa Phelps. And the Kiwanis Club, the Kiwanis Club, everybody give a round of applause for the Kiwanis Club, absolutely. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. And also, I'm just thankful to be here because this is actually my first time doing this as a teacher. I've done it as a student in school with Mrs. Hansen. Uh, and also, we have a great group of students who are going to be our uh, volunteers today and also our volunteers on the camera, our great judges over here. Everybody give a round of applause for the judges, all the kids. Uh, and yeah, we're just excited to be here today. It's a great environment, see a bunch of great kids. Going to have some awesome literature for you all today. My certification is in English, so obviously I love this stuff. And so does Mrs. Hanson. Hers is also in English. So let's get started, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we're going to have our national anthem with Savannah Young. someone that can seem like that uh, in our Jack Kentucky program. Savannah never fails uh, to represent Jack Kentucky and Martin County High School in the way that it should be. Let's give her another round of applause. All right, next up we have Sophie McCoy. Sophie is going to do an introduction for us of what Jack, because some of you all may not know. Sophie certainly knows because she just ran, uh, went to Dallas, Texas, where she ran for national officer. She didn't get it, but we know that she is going to be the next JAG national officer from Kentucky. So let's give Sophie some applause. Thank you, Ms. Hansen. 
so Jobs for America's Graduates is a school-to-work transition program designed to assist youth in making a more successful transition from high school into the world of work. JAG has been active in Martin County since 1994 and has the overall first place program in the state and one of the consistently taught performing programs in the nation. One of the major components of our program is community service and we at Martin County High School are honored to present this speech competition as one of our premier service projects throughout the year. We have presented this event in the JAG Kentucky State Career Development Competition in project-based learning, winning first place and placing second in the nation at the JAG National Student Leadership Academy in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Kiwanis, for giving us this amazing opportunity to give back to our community and share the successes of our amazing hometown to the world. And now let me introduce Katie Maynard, who is going to talk a little bit about uh, what the Kiwanis has done in partnership with us. For many years, the Greater Martin County Kiwanis Club has been a beacon of our service for our community, providing scholarships for our students and gathering that bring the entire county together. Their dedication to making our community the best that it can be has brought us all together here today and allowed us to stand here before you presenting some of the incredible talents of the Martin County High School schools. Six years ago, Qantas President Melissa Fannin Phillips agreed to partnership with the Martin County High School Jack Kentucky class. And it is at their partnership that has brought us about this annual event. Thank you so much, Qantas, for believing in our Jack Kentucky and allowing us to use our special skills and students for, of Martin County. Next up, we have Jaylee Deskins. I am honored today to introduce the judges for the, Harvest Fest Feet, for the Harvest Fest speech contest. Our first judge is Kristen Hale. In addition to being in the high, in addition to being the high school librarian, Kristen is also the coordinator of the JAG summer work program and has two children enrolled in JAG at Martin County High School. Our second judge is Brett Fletcher. Brett is a teacher at Warfield Elementary and is, is a JAG alumni. She is a JAG National Public Speaking Top 10 winner in the JKG State Public Speaking Champion. Her third judge is Sarah Davis. Sarah is a, is a JAG alumni who recently placed in her, first in our JAG Outstanding Chapter in the Top 10 Decision Making at the JAG National Career Development Conference in Dallas, Texas. Thank you to each and every one of you for your generous donation of time and energy today. It's going to be a jagtastic event for all. And now next up for our public speaking overview, we have Miss Bailey Dowles. Student, students from kindergarten through 12th are invited to write and present speeches or poems of any kind featuring the theme, In Martin County, I'm Grateful For. This theme can include members, local activities, local goods and produce, providing service to your community, small town living, Martin County history, and the beauty of small town living or other closely related topics. Speeches will be timed and deductions will, will be incurred if too short or too long. Participants must stress in costume related to speech or business attire. Next up to introduce our division guides for public speaking, we have Alexis Hale and Matthew Limbo. Hello everyone. For our division guides, <laughs> you made me nervous. <laughs> uh, we have K through 12, which is my cute, sorry. <laughs> I see Miss Hanson over there like... <laughs> okay. Our K-2 is Mikey Reynolds. <laughs> Mikey is a two-year JAG member and he is a sophomore at Martin County High School. Um, and for our third through fifth grade division, our division guide is Marley Grayson. 
She is a first year JAG student and she is a freshman at Martin County High School. Our 6th through 8th grade divisions are Drew Wilson and Candy Evans. Drew is a sophomore at Martin County High School and a first year JAG member. For our 9th through 12th grade division, our division guide is Alyssa Allen. She is a third year JAG student and she is a junior at Martin County High School. Our division guides will guide each student from their divisions to the stage. Let's give them a round of applause and let's get ready to hear some awesome speeches. Will all of the K2 members uh, please report to right where the pumpkins are, right here at the corner. And you are going to be meeting with Mikey Reynolds. Starting off our K through two division, we have Juliana Horn from in sec she's in second grade and she goes to Aiden Elementary School. What does it mean to be grateful? To me it means knowing something is wonderful. And being thankful for for it. I appreciate the people in Mar I appreciate the place I live, Martin County, and I appreciate the people in Martin County that love each other. And there's that love each other. Yes, keep going. Woo. For example, a person walks up to me and says, Will you play with me at the park? And I will say yes. And that is one reason why I'm grateful for Martin County. Another reason is, uh, another reason is God. God gave me a beautiful place to live in Martin County, and He gave me the best family in the world. And and I learned, and growing up here, I learned to always treat people the way that I want to be treated. And that is why I'm grateful for Martin, for Martin County, Kentucky, my home sweet home. Yeah. Three five division competitors, please come to the right beside the stage here. Marley Grayson will be there to line you up. Oh, for public speaking only. I know we have a couple poetry that is later on for public speaking only. Moorfield Elementary School, McKenna Fletcher. Good afternoon. My name is McKenna Fletcher, and I have lived in Martin County my whole life. I am most grateful for God and all His blessings on me. I am grateful, grateful for my family, friends, teachers, and school. I also love my pets. 
I am grateful to live in a beautiful place to go for a little riding, having a picnic while reading a book, or just playing basketball, hanging out. And I also love to be able to go outside and play recess or have sleepovers with my friends. We love to go swimming together. I am also grateful for McDonald's and their cheeseburgers. Number seven on the menu, just in case you're getting hungry. I am also grateful to be able to live close to the airport to see the elk, deer, and rabbits. Martin County is a beautiful place to live. What, what's not to be grateful for? As Charlie Brown said, what if today we're just, we were just grateful for everything? Thank you. Now we have another third grader from Warfield Elementary School, Madison Dials. Good morning, my name is Madison Dials and I am from Warfield, Kentucky. And I am grateful for my family, my school, my teachers, my, my mom, Peppa, God, mom and dad, food and grocery stores, clothing, animals, a house to stay in, and the community, and the doctors, and dentist. I'm grateful for school the most because you can get more knowledge and learn more about the world. I'm grateful to have a good school in Martin County. Another third grader from Warfield Elementary School, Abigail Hillsburg. I am grateful for God, my family, my friends, my mom, my dad, my sisters, the community stuff, farmers, because the farmers grow food and they sell it to the workers, the dentists, the Doctors, the poets, and the chefs are all part of our community. In third grade from Warfield Elementary School, Zoe Murphy. I'm thankful for my mom, my dad, and my brother. And I and I'm I'm thankful for the school and the parks and the food. And the most important part of the park, I love God. And the most important one Another third grader from Warfield Elementary School, Aaron Dalton. Well, 
Portland County is a lovely place to be. I have so many things to be grateful for. Warfield Elementary is my school. I'm grateful for all the teachers and the staff. They work hard to help us learn. They We have so many parks in our community. I am grateful for us to have them to play on on nice days. I am so grateful for all of the people in our community.
awards presentation. Um, when we announce the winners, we would like for each one to come forward. Please stay. We are going third, second, first. So please stay if you are the third or second place winner so that we can take a picture of all three at one time. And then at the end, we would like to invite all of our student participants uh, throughout all of our wonderful Martin County schools to come up and take a picture with all of us. If you are sharing any of our information today, make sure you share it with the hashtag Jag Kentucky and the hashtag Jag Speaks because this is our public speaking competition. We love doing this every year because for us, we always try to find something that we do and we do well and we are known for our public speaking, not just here in Martin County, but across this state and across this nation. If you want to ask anybody in the JAG National Network where some of the best public speech speakers in the nation come from, they will tell you Martin County High School. So this is a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to use those skills that we have to enhance the students here. And we are so grateful for everyone that came out today. So with no further ado, I'm going to be bringing up Sophie McCoy and Bailey Diles, who are going to be doing our presentations. Let's give them some applause. We'll start with our winner for the K through two division. First place, Juliana Horn. sit and then we'll bring back up everyone at the end for a great picture. Uh, for three through five, third place is Ryan Davis. Madison Dials. First place for your third through fifth division is Gracie Harless. Our sixth through eighth division. In second place, Christian Carter. First place, Lakin Blevins. Thank 
For your 9 through 12th division, second place is Holly Maynard. First place is Carson Hammond. The six through eight that we announced was for the poetry division. And now for the speech, second place was Braden Stepp. And first place is Jocelyn Hunt. Now for third through fifth poetry. In second place, Paige Stafford. And in first place, Jenna McCoy. Give a round of applause for all our winners and competitors, everybody that competed today. I want all uh, all student competitors come to the stage for a group picture. All student competitors come to the stage for an awesome group picture. I'm probably what? 
I'm probably good. All Jags students stay real quick, real quick. All Jags students stay on the stage. Oh, thank you. Hey, look what I won. Hello. Awesome.